Kete, Ni Brazi Gada, Ne Brazo Bose, Rico Popose Kaya, Palasa Kayata. Let your word, O God, deliver me by your word. Deliver me by your word. Let your word come through for me. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray for your atmosphere. Whatever that wants to hinder your miracle. Whatever that wants to hinder you. Whatever power of darkness operating in your territory, operating in your family, that want to hinder you from today's blessing, begin to rise against them. Masha kaya katole bragadoja, mesu kaya zada, ne brazu bragade, reko popo sata, ne braze kaya, pa ne brazo gode, riba zaze, ne brazu bragado, mase kaya, pa ne brazu bade, ne bragazo gode. Rico Poposa, Parozo Bobo, Recai Bagada, Balazaze, Nebraza Zogodo, Roco Posecate, Nebraza Zagade, Nebraze Gaya, Maso de Nebragado, Reco Poposa, Paricato Nebragade, Nebrazi Braza, Maso Poposa, Reco Poposecata, Nebraze Gede. Let my atmosphere. Be conducive for a miracle. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, let your word of God come through for me. Let your word come through for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever hindrance I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever assigns of it to stop me, I stop them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the word of God come through for me. Oh, by the Lord of Jesus Christ, I sanctify my spirit, I sanctify my soul, I sanctify my body, I wash myself in the blood of Jesus, I immerse myself in his blood for divine purification, for sanctification. Oh Lord, my God, wash me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you have not shared this broadcast, quickly share it. If you are in this platform, you have not invited someone, please do. I'm about to start a teaching. That is very, 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 very important in your life and in my life, in your work and in everything that concerns you. Let me tell you what God has put in me just a few minutes ago for me to share with you. It will blow your mind. I know it very well. And it will be good for you to share it with someone. Don't allow yourself to be greedy. Share it in our WhatsApp group. Share it with your friend. Invite them. Let them know. It is up to them now to decide to come. But let it be that you have invited someone. You have invited someone to come and receive this word as raw as it's going to come. Because this word is going to help as many that is going to hear it. It's going to bring deliberation, understanding, and cautiousness in our life. Praise be to Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to teach on a topic I titled hmm, Overcoming the Spirit That Stops You. Overcoming the Spirit That Stops You. Amen. Children of God, there is a spirit that does not mind your sources. <laughs> there is a spirit that does not mind your achievement. There is a spirit that is not after your breakthrough. There is a spirit that relax and watch you prosper. There is a spirit that is very convenient when you are prospering. But this spirit will wait for you at the end of your labor. This spirit will wait for you to labor. 
This spirit will wait for you to acquire. This spirit will wait for you to conquer. At the end of all your toiling, this spirit will come to scatter. This spirit comes to scatter after you have labored. This spirit comes to destroy what you have kept. This spirit comes to destroy what you have preserved. This spirit comes to destroy what the Lord has given to you. This spirit is a consumer. It comes at the end of all your breakthroughs. He will watch you break through. He will watch you succeed. He will watch you plan your plan. He will watch you do everything you want to do. This spirit will be comfortable seeing you rising. He will be looking at you, even clapping for you. But at the moment you rise, this spirit will come up and come and destroy. This spirit has been like that. Let me tell you, Moses started the journey with God. God called Moses right from the time Moses was conceived by the mother. God called him and God gave him an assignment as a deliverer. And Moses is a deliverer known by God and the children of Israelites. And Moses started this encounter with the children of Israelites to deliver them with one agenda to the promised land. Devil did not mind. He tried all his tricks and he could not beat his trick. He could not stop Moses. He could not make him not to do what he asked to do. This devil began to realize that Moses is very smart with him. This devil began to realize that he cannot be able to defeat him. This devil started plotting and decide, let me wait for Moses at the end of his journey. Just at the time Moses will fulfill the righteousness of God. Just at the time Moses is about to take the children of Israel to the place of the promised land so that he will get the reward of his assignment. The enemy struck. Moses who has been following, Moses did not realize that there is a spirit that has been looking for how to stop him. Moses never understood this revelation. Moses never took it serious. This spirit called the spirit of anger. Right from the time Moses was a boy, this spirit came to stop his destiny. He fought angrily, he killed. He wanted to fight again, angrily, he could not. He ran away because another person caught him. This same angry spirit made him to strike the water, the rock, three, two times instead of once. This same spirit made him to break the covenant that God gave to him after staying how many days in the mountain top. This same spirit made him to break it. This same spirit made him to command the earth to open and swallow the people who was rebellious in his camp. This same spirit re revealed itself countless times. But he never knew that the spirit has one agenda. The agenda is to make sure that his reward is not perfected. Moses was very careful to carry out the assignment of God. But the power from his foundation, remember, his mother was a Levite, the father was a Levite. And we know that there is anger issue with these two combinations. Now combining together, it becomes an unstable spirit because it is water. Now, this Moses that was anointed, this Moses that was covenanted, Moses have a special place in the heart of God, for this spirit did not stop from stopping him. Many children of God, we are busy, we are not sensitive. This spirit that stops, that comes and attacks you at the end of your toiling, at the end of all your breakthroughs, this spirit will come deceptively. You will think it is nothing, but when you realize that common thing that continues to happen in your life, that common thing you take for granted, that common thing that occurs and occurs and occurs, that common thing, if you don't deal with it, it can be your stopper. 
The spirit that Moses saw from the time he was a boy became what stopped him. That God told him, My dear, I love you, Moses. I appeared to you. I showed you my path. I interacted with you as a friend. But the protocol in my kingdom cannot be broken with principle in line with it. For this reason, I will only do you one favor. Moses, stand on this place and look at where you ought to go. But because you have failed in your own way, you only see it. You are not permitted to enter it. How painful it is that the journey Moses started for many years, he was not able to enter the perfection because of what? Anger. Many Christians are being stopped. Your blessing is being stopped. When you have piled up, you have done everything that is needed, Satan will come up with that little thing to defile it. Let's look at the, 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 the ministry of Jesus Christ. In the ministry of Jesus Christ, Judas the carrot is the one who keeps money. He was Jesus' treasurer. But anytime there is anything about money, look at the character of Judas the carrot. When Jesus was walking in the temple and saw people that were trading in the temple, Jesus became mad. And Jesus threw away the money. The moment Jesus do that, Peter said, ah, uh ah, -uh, you could have taken this money and give us after all, we don't have money. Why scatter this thing? Peter was so money conscious. He never understood that this money he is conscious about is a trap that Satan has set up to make sure he's up not to become a disciple when Jesus has departed. He robbed him of his own value. He robbed him of his own glory. He robbed him of his own importance in the, in the Bible. He robbed him. Don't forget, Peter, Paul, Peter, Paul, all of them that were with Jesus Christ, none of them were holding money. It was him that was the treasurer. But he was so careless. Look at when the woman broke the alabaster, alabaster box. He cried for that money. He cried. He didn't realize that there is a spirit inside of him that is making him to behave like that. He didn't take it serious. He did not understand there was a power from where he comes from because I'm sure you know that Peter is from a tribe where money is very important. Judas the carrot, go and check it. He's from a tribe where money is very relevant to them. He did not know that that was the, the downfall, the downfall that Satan has prepared, waiting to destroy him. He never knew that the devil has packaged it as a way of dishonoring him, as a way of robbing him. He was the only apostle and disciple that followed Jesus Christ that was never crowned. He followed money. He followed money until he used money. In the end, money never helped him because that money he threw it away, but it was too late. He killed himself. He never knew that the love of the money was a spirit that was assigned to stop him. He never understood that the love of the money is the spirit that has been programmed right from the time of the satanic kingdom to compel and to attack destiny. He never understood. Look at Ananias and Sapphirias. Look at the two of them, their husband and wife. But they are bloody liars. They've been lying. It is something they do. So it is accustomed to them that the husband lies and the wife back up the lie with the husband. They are experts in it. They never knew that a day will come. They will lie for something that belongs to them and they will become cops. The Bible said they were gathered in one accord, and all of them were gathered, and they were being blessed, and they were increasing, but to them they became a body bag because they allowed the stopper to stop them. There is a spirit that stops a man. If you don't identify your weakness, that spirit will come against you. There is a spirit that hinders a man. The spirit will wait for you to labor. When we finish laboring, he will come and destroy what you have labored. Look at Samson. Samson in the Bible, a man who was a justice, 
he was delivering judgment against the Philistines. But Satan looked at him and realized that he cannot resist a fair woman and begin to make sure that any woman that comes in his life must come from the Philistine where he will eat the forbidden food so that he can be destroyed. He succeeded, but he died in his progress, in his own success. That is not an honor. Child of God, what is a sign to stop you? What is a sign to stop you? What area of your life have you experienced repeatable warning that you are ignoring? What area of your life? Is it the words you say? Is it your action? Is it the place you go? Is it temper? What is that thing that the devil has already prepared for you that it will bring you down? What is that thing? If you don't know your, that thing, Satan is using. Satan is preparing. You might become a casualty. You might become a casualty. It is very important for you to begin to be sensitive. Know that there is a spirit that stops the man. Not when you are being blessed. The spirit does not, it won't come. It will not come to fight you when you are being blessed. It will not come to tell you not to be blessed. No, look at, look at Jacob. Jacob suffered for seven years to marry a woman. Jacob was a good liar. When he met the love of his life, he has to suffer 14 years to be able to get that wife. Because lie came into existence to stop his own joy. So he paid the price for all his smart life. He paid it for 14 years. That was not enough. He inherited the trophy of a wife. In the journey of life, that same trophy of a wife died in his own eyes. The devil took it. Yes, the devil did not stop. The only blessing that the woman gave to him that brought him joy. The devil entered the life of the brothers to destroy Joseph just to make sure that Jacob does not enjoy the love from Rachel. That is how the enemy can be so strategic to hinder you of your blessing. You begin to wonder what is happening. The enemy is targeting something. The enemy is after something. The enemy is not a joker. They are very, very smart. It takes you to have knowledge, to have understanding and apply wisdom to defeat the Satan. This is the reason why we must be very conscious. You see, when we talk about studying, people don't like to learn things about the word of God. People want to prophecy, prophecy. But they don't know that prophecy is very good. It's uh, edification. Prophecy is to tell you that God is real and God speaks. But the real thing is to get knowledge. Get knowledge so that you will know how to apply it. There are some times in your life you will be moving with a lot of speed and you won't understand that God is with you for sure. But you must guide your speed with prayer because there is a spirit that is watching you, running with speed, but that spirit is there. Now let me tell you, look at Jesus Christ. Jesus was created to die. The only mission of Jesus Christ is to go to the cross and die. That was his mission. The ministry he ran was to do discipleship and bring the sample of God to the human. But his main agenda is to run this thing within three years and go and die. When he gets to his journey of death, look at, at the palace, Potter's wife said to the husband, I had a dream, and this dream said that you should not kill Jesus. Who gave that dream? Because you and I know that the only thing God wants for Jesus is to die. Who gave the wife of the king that dream? Did you not see the time when they were asking him, Jesus, Jesus did not answer. If Jesus had answered, maybe he would have had mercy upon Jesus. Jesus knew that Satan is manipulating something. Satan wants to change my destiny. Satan wants to swap this thing. If I am not careful, I am a man with authority. If I speak one word, it can change a lot of things. When the man who has the ability to set him free spoke to him, Herod, he did not answer him. He did not say anything to them. Why will he talk when he know that the wife has already seen a dream that has nothing to do with God? 
Everybody who read the scripture would have thought God was trying to save Jesus. From what? Death is his portion. And the only way he can die is for them to crucify him. The only way he can die is for them to persecute him. The only way he can die is for them to condemn him. But a spirit that wanted to stop him visited the wife of the king and told him, take off your hand, wash off your hand, don't touch this man, just leave him alone. It was not God's favor. It was satanic manipulation to hinder Jesus from being crucified. We must begin to sit down and be sensitive with life. There are spirits that wait for you to be successful. They wait for you to finish your progress. The Bible said Job, Job was a man of wealth, a man of timber and a man of caliber, a man that was respected by men and honored by God. But the enemy waited for where he would be relaxed and went to his home, imagine everything that man worked for, all the time of exhortation was crumbled in less than two days. Everything he worked for. The stopper went to attack his labor. The stopper did not attack his head because if he attacked his head, he will not feel pain like the pain he will feel when he attacks his resources. He made him useless and decided to afflict him. So if Job was able to see his children die, see his property go, see everything go, Job was not going to bow to any other God because the worst pain he has gone through it. He has gone through it. What can be more painful? You lose your power until you became a beggar on the street. The same people you fed cannot even feed you because they pity your situation so much and they can't come near you. He made him a stinking, a stinking living human being. But Job said, I will wait for my redeemer to live it. I will wait for my redeemer to live it. I will wait for I know the God that I call. I know I may be slain. I know I may be wounded. I know, but one day I am confident when my redeemer come up, the stopper will not be able to stop me. Because there was something just new that Satan did not know why God was boasting after him. He did not understand that Job has been privileged to walk in the corridor of Christ, to walk in the power of what he does to attack him and they began to use the prayer to go and meet the king and tell the king no one should pray to any other god no one should worship any other thing because they have already studied him carefully and they believe that the only way they can destroy him is to stop him from prayer if they can stop his prayer order they can put a stop to his mission of excellence they can put a stop for his mission to recover israel they can put a stop to his destiny but the man continued to pray he did not mind the decree of the king he did not mind the decree of the people whether they gathered in ten thousand whether they gathered in twenty thousand he refused to bow he refused to stop because he knew that his life depend on it he knew that his life depend on it he knew that was the source of power he knew that was the source of strength children of god daniel continued praying he prayed to the point they got evidence against him. They brought the evidence before the king. He was judged and casted. He never begged them. He understood that if my God cannot deliver me, I don't need to stay in the midst of devourers. If my God cannot set me free, I don't need to stay in the midst of blood suckers. If my God cannot deliver me, I don't need the sufferers. I need to stay out of them. And I will continue to pray. And he prayed and prayed and prayed. Until the lion began to pray with him. Mashaka kala bagadeshi. Leko si taika telebra. Masuke baraka kala baga. Le supaya kala bagadeshi. Le seke seke seke. It is his prayer that preserved him. That even the king was restless. The king could not have peace. But Daniel was peaceful in the den of lions. Because he understood that he would not allow the stoppers 
to stop him. He understood there is a spirit that always attack. Don't forget, Daniel have had the experience of the prince of Pasha that stood between him and his blessing. He has all the experience when the prince of Pasha refused him to receive the miracle that God has sent him. So he has experienced stopper. He knew that when they stopped him and Jehovah told him, if you have continued, if you have stopped praying, he would have stopped the miracle. But because you continue to pray, I got an assistance and I was able to defeat. I was able to defend. I was able to come through to you. Mashaka Talaboza. Lesoko Parikate. Maziba Yatalaboza. That spirit wait for you and destroy your blessing. You have been single all through. You never had anyone. Suddenly a man comes into your life. The moment the man began to propose to you, this man will begin to seek. This man will begin to have an issue. Financial problem. What is happening? The stopper has come to stop the blessing. He will wait. Look at Naomi. Naomi has sons. Naomi was a mother of children. He left his own country because of famine. He left his own country because of suffering. He left his own country not because the country of Israel is not blessed. It was blessed, but there was famine in the time Naomi left with his family. When Naomi was going, Naomi was running for famine. Naomi was running for drought. Naomi was running for, for food. He never knew that the country he's going to, there is a devourer there. He never knew there is a stopper there. He never knew there is a spirit that wants to take away all he has labored for. All the children he took there, the husband he went with, he never came back with any of them. The spirit went there and attacked his resources and attack her blessing and take away her favor and she cried out to God I am no longer beautiful let me become bitter for I have been shamed by the destroyer or if not the mercy and the grace of God that came through for her she would have been a woman without reckoning Le brazu bragade le bragadia, masse katalababa, reko bobo bozigada, le zu bragade le bragadosa, reko baziba zazaze, riba zu bragade le bragia, masse katagada, le ko bobo boziba ragada, le brazu bragade. Many of us, we need to start praying against the spirit of stubborn, the spirit that waits for you to have a contract. The moment you get that contract, government will stop his bossing. Government was looking for people to bid. Why are they looking for people to bid if they have not separate money for that building to be functioned or to be funded? The moment you are involved, they will close the deal. The moment you take step, something will happen. It is not ordinary. They will stop. That frustrating spirit, that hindering spirit, that spirit that does not want you to excel, that spirit that does not want you to prosper, that spirit that does not want you to get that you ought to get. When that spirit is fighting you, it goes at the end of you to destroy what you have built. It is very painful to run a race without a price. So the spirit will wait for you to run the race. You will run the race. Do you know why God is Alpha and Omega? Do you know why he is called the beginning and the end? Because if he begins without ending, he's not a God. The perfection of his beginning is in the finishing. That's why the Bible says the end of a thing is better than the beginning thereof. If you start school and you go to school for six years, after schooling you did not get a job, did you finish? You did not finish. It is a shame. And the stop is that. He will not have a problem for you to start. You want to break a mini record? Sour, enroll, finish now. Is it not when your certificate is relevant or bringing food? That's when you will remember. Look at how irony. People go to school. When they finish going to school, they go learn laboring. They go learn how to be a barber. They go learn how to be a hairdresser. They go back to people who did not go to school to become an apprentice. Mashakata Labagada. Because we Christians have stopped praying against the spirit that stops, the spirit that destroys, 
the spirit that waits for you to do everything that is needed to be done, but goes to the end and begins to destroy you. When you don't know, you become a victim. Jesus was hung on the, on the cross. Jesus was hung on the cross. Jesus was not hung alone. Jesus was hung beside two other people. One at the left and one at the right side. The one at the other side realized that even if I am a thief, I know that I have nowhere else to go than hell fire. Let me believe this Jesus Christ, even if they are beating him the way they are beating me. And they are condemning all of us the same way. Let me just talk to him and believe in him. That man was wise. Why? He understood the climate. He understood that he cannot help himself, but he can put himself in someone that is able or capable to help him. The Bible said the name of the Lord Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous shall run into him and they shall be saved. That guy ran into the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and he was sent to paradise right from the cross. The other one became arrogant began to think that because they were sharing cross together, because they were being crucified together, they belong to the same category. Until he sees himself in father, in father, Satan, and in hell, born into ashes, he realized that we can be on the same cross, but we are not on the same destiny. Children of God, who is stopping you? What has refused you to break through? What has refused you to break through? Who is that man? Who is that woman that has seen you so well and they are using your weakness to manipulate you? They are using your weakness to sponsor your affliction. They are using your weakness to make sure you don't get blessed. They are using your weakness to chase away people from you. Because when you bring out your weakness, they already know your helpers will run away. What are they using to chase your helpers? What are they using to hinder your blessing? What are they using to rob you of your favor? Are you going to keep quiet or you are going to be wise to know these mysteries? This is why God has allowed me to be bringing this revelation to you every Thursday. So that you will have revelation. You need to know the truth. The truth you know is what will set you free. There is no coincidence in anywhere on this earth. If you are suffering, somebody is beating the drum for you. If you are enjoying, somebody is beating the drum for you. If things are going up and down in a negative way, somebody somewhere is beating something for you. Your life, when your life is prosperous and when you are preserved, somebody somewhere is standing for you. Things don't just happen. Don't wake up and say it happened just like that. Apana. It is either God is helping you or Satan is destroying you. This is how it is. That's why the Bible said he has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So when you are seeing that the things in your hands are dying, Satan is involved. When you see the things in your hand are being destroyed, Satan is involved. When you see the things are in your hand are dying, Satan is involved. He is involved. Either he is hiding in your house, or he's hiding in your friend's house, or he's hiding in your father's house. He must be somewhere within you. Go far. If he go far, he will succeed. So he has to be within the territorial effort. That is your terrain to manipulate you. You need to know. That's why Jesus said, light and darkness. That's why Jesus said, life and death. He said all these things so that we will make a choice. He said, you are the salt. You are the light of the world. You are the city set on a hill. Why is he telling you this? He's telling you, don't give up on anything. Pursue your pursuit. Pursue your pursuit. Don't you see David, what happened to David? At all times, the enemy tried to stop David. They tried to stop David. They fought David with outsiders, nations. King rose up against David, but they were not able to defeat him. But when they began to use his own son, Absalom, they began to use Absalom to destroy him. He went exile as a king when Absalom himself became his enemy. He ran away from his own king. He left his home. Because when they use your inner man 
or your own blood to fight you, they already know that they have wounded you. And he realized that the only person who can give this information is Ahistophel. And he prayed, God, let the wisdom of Ahistophel become foolishness. Because David knew that the power that Ahistophel had in wisdom is capable of stopping him from being the king of David. And he killed that copper so that he would be able to break through. If you don't know, the spirit and the powers that the enemy can use to stop you, you can be just playing around while your life is being mortgaged. I don't know why God wants me to teach this. I don't know who God is talking to through me. I am just telling you that these are things I don't teach anyhow. The revelation God has been allowing me to give in this class or in this Zoom meeting, it is classified information, but I don't know who God wants to bless. I don't know who God wants to talk to. I don't know who reads this message that God is saying because I know it will bring you lifting to your listen. If you listen and walk with the word I am giving you, you will be settled to see through. You will begin to look at your life because I have given it to you in two categories. I have shown you how they can use your weakness to stop you. I have shown you how the enemy can wait carefully for you to get to your peak and finish all your settlement and they will come after you. Look at all the things that happened in Israelite. The kings that fell, what killed them? Who are they? Who is these people? Look at it. Ahab is from who? How come Ahab, that is an Israel, defy the principle? and brought what was not supposed to be brought into the kingdom into the kingdom look at abimelech who is abimelech is he not from the tribe or from this offspring of gideon gideon was a man of valor a strong man a man who has the power but this his son killed 70 of his brothers to rule because of power children of god David, do you know everything gideon made fought for the 70 children was killed by one of his own sons just to take over authority. Children of God, there are many things that are happening. If you are not careful, these enemies are real. They will wait for you. When they wait for you at the time of your completion, they will come and target you. The prodigal son did not understand. When the brother left the house, he thought that he was free. When the brother left the house, he was happy thinking that he's the only son of the father. He did not know that there was a strategy. The enemy have a strategy strategy that the strategy of the enemy was to mess up his own life yes he was the first son yes he was the obedient child yes he was everything he was loved he was this but he never enjoyed the fruit of his labor because there is something about carelessness that destroys the kingdom of god Le brazu braga de le braziaze reke bobo bozi gada li braga zi braga do. I want you to share this, share this program. Let me tell you, I know by tomorrow or this night, this teaching will be uploaded in YouTube. Send it to Christian. They need to understand that their weakness can be a source that the devil can use to stop them. They need to understand when they are in a race, they must be careful. Have you not seen many people start church at the peak of the breakthrough of the church? Satan will bring somebody from the church, not an outsider, somebody from the church, somebody you least expected that will break out and say, God has called him. No, the stopper has employed him. The stopper has employed him. This person will begin to have kind of things, hatred. Like, it will be like a power tussle. What is happening? The stopper has come to stop the destiny, the vision, the blessing, the glory, so that what will happen, you will live in shame and in reproach. Even the one that is going does not know where he's going. The only agenda is to break. When it is broken before they will realize that I will not abide on the stopper has employed you to stop something. You must understand. You must understand that sometimes the wisdom of men is foolishness before God. That is why God says those that will walk with me they have to walk with me in spirit and in truth. You need the spirit to design. You need the spirit to gain understanding. 
You need the spirit to be articulate. If you don't have the spirit, you will not be able to function in smartness. And Satan has never changed. The Bible says he is a, he is not powerful, but he has many devices. He is tricky. He is cunning. He is a good liar. He is a murderer. He must make sure he use what you sell to buy from you. He will use what you love to sell to you. So be careful. That thing that looks right. You see, sometimes I see people the way they do. Some people, I want to talk like for myself. Some people, God has privileged to meet me as a prophetess. And uh, sometimes you think you are smarter than the prophetess which God has brought you to meet. Satan is the one using you to think you are smart. Some of you play some games. When I look at the spirit at that game, I only smile. Why do I do that? I pray for God to show you mercy and grace so that you will not fall victim of the stopper. The blessing you seek, if God has put it in my hand, and you decide to begin to use me as your as your as your football, you are joking. Satan will make you to play that football for a long time. He will make sure you will not be serious because he knows that when you become serious and connect continually and stay focused and stay steadfast, he knows you will be blessed. So he will go into your mind and begin to give you revelation that has nothing to do with your destiny. I even ask somebody, why do you make my life your problem? Some will no longer look for blessing, they will begin to look for my personal life. Some will no longer look, some will begin to make inquiries that they don't need. Some, you see, don't ever allow yourself to be cajoled by Satan. So we begin to look for my English. Ah, that woman, her English is disastrous. Can you leave my English alone and take your blessing? Yes. So we begin to judge you. So we begin to fight you. So we begin to say things that, that did not bring them to church. They will begin to. And why? Satan is giving them the spirit of distraction. Just to distract them. Just to distract them, just to make them to have spiritual big head. They will begin to analyze you. They will begin to say, you know, this one, she's not doing it right. Ah, this one, she's doing it well. Oh, this one, is God that you. The God who brought you does not know what you are seeing. Is God, the God who brought you, is he not smart enough to see beyond the veil? Whatever God is seeing and is still using the vessel, you are not permitted to see it. Because those things you think you want to say, you don't know it. God knows it better than you. I and let me tell you, there is a mystery in God that children of God will not understand. And God cannot expose it to you until you see the level of your love. He said, For them that are loving, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what I have in store for them. He has not revealed it to anyone. It is the love that you have that will bring the revelation to the people. So children of God, let yourself to be steadfast. Let yourself to know what you want. Know that what you want is your deliverance. What you want is your healing. What you want is your breakthrough. What you want is your lifting. Stay within what you want. Be focused on it. Pursue it. Go after it. Faithfully, diligently, and get it. That is what God wants from us. Paul said, I look forward, I press on, onto the mark, onto the glory. I don't care. The Bible says Jesus despised the shame. He does not care about the reproach. He was always looking at the glory that will come after it. Why? Because that should be your motivation. Let your expectation be your motivation. When your expectation is your motivation, stoppers will not stop you. When your motivation is your expectation, hinderers will not be able to hinder you. But you must make a decision and allow God to help you to become what you ought to be. And you will be surprised. This is my advice to you today. Who is using your weaknesses against you? What are you laboring that the enemy is targeting to destroy? Do you know the Bible says there is a caterpillar, there is a power. A caterpillar, a palmer worm that is there to eat up what you have labeled. A devourer that is there to devour. Devour, devour what is already there. They are not going to devour what is not there. 
Caterpillar will not come and bulldoze what has not been erected. Pamela will not eat what is not a, what has no fruit. This listen to me carefully, children of God. You see, when the Bible spoke in uh, in, in, in in the Bible in Malachi three three, it talks about the power one the tithe we put and he talked about that and he went down and explained that when you pay your tithe when you do this power one caterpillar the devourer why did he use this thing to describe he did that because the power one they eat fruit the caterpillar pulled down what has been erected Understand it, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, these things, they always use the things that are already existing. They are not going to look one for what is not there. They are going to look for what is there. What is available? What have you kept? What is that thing you are hiding? What is that thing you are building? What is that secret finance? So they will wait. When you have heaped it up, they will come with a sickness. This sickness will continue to pay itself salary every month, every month, every month, every month. They will bring a situation that every month you will be servicing like an oracle to make sure that the service you refuse to render in the place of God, you render it in the place of Satan. And Satan will be jubilating because he knows that as long as you are not gathering, you are scattering your own blessing. Children of God, I know many of you want prophecy. I know many of you are waiting to be told. But know that today's revelation, if you can sit down and watch it again, look your left and your right, you will put a light upon your feet. I want to pray for you. I want to pray against the spirit that uses your weakness to fight you. I want to pray against that stopper Anyone that the stopper is already chasing, anyone that the stopper is already waiting for, let me tell you, as I want to pray, God just brought something in my mind. When the disciples and Jesus was going to the other side, they were going to deliver just one man in gathering. And when the spiritual territories realized that Jesus is a force that cannot be resisted, what did they do? They send the stopper as a storm to go in the middle of the sea to overturn the boat so that they would kill him and stop him from coming to gathering. They began to make the tempest to rage. They began to employ the goddess of the sea. They began to employ the power of the sea to fight against the coming of Jesus Christ to the gathering. That's why Jesus tell the people of little faith, where we are going, we are going. Jesus did not go any other place. He only went to gathering and deliver a man that was filled with legions of demons. Legions of demons. And that was the only miracle he did and he left. Why? The territorial forces, they tried to stop him in the sea, they could not. What perforated the boat? What made the boat to start leaking? Was the boat leaking when they were coming from the other side? The spirit of the sea attacked the boat because they wanted to stop the mission. They wanted to stop the vision. They wanted Jesus not to deliver the, the man in the gathering because that man was a man, an evangelist that was sent to deliver a whole nation. And they knew if he's delivered, he will bring restoration. He will bring blessing. He will bring prosperity. He will bring godliness and the glory of God will be seen in the life of the people. Satan like to afflict the children of God so that it will look as if God does not answer prayer. So that it will look as if we are not anointed. So that it will look as if that we are fake. No! It is the stopper that is resisting your blessing. If you don't stop the stopper, the stopper will stop. That is why we are going to pray that every stopper of your destiny, every stopper of your miracle, every stopper of your business, every stopper of your breakthrough, that man 
or woman, that boy or girl, stopping your miracle, stopping your advancement, stopping your breakthrough, stopping the light of God to shine upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray against that spirit. Pray against that spirit. Pray against the spirit of scopper. Mashakata Lavagadota. Nebrazade. Nibrozeka Ibada. Parusa Sakate. Rekete Popopa. Parakata Lakata. Nebrazaya Gado. Nebrazasi Bragado. Rico Popopopa. Parasatata. Palevazade. Nebedeke. Rika Pasukaya. Parusa Tekata. Braga Zegete, Rico Popo Popo, Pariba Zaza, Mashata, Calibro Zegete, Rico Popo Baracata, Nica Tacatacosa, Reco Popo Sataya, Zegete de Gabaruga, Reca la Gagada, Nebraga Zegete, Reco Popo Popo, Raza Gagada, Raza Zegete, Rico Popo Popo, Rica la Gada, Parusa Cateca Yacata, Neva Ziza Zet, Reco Popo Popo, Raza Gagada. Reka baga da da da, ne braga se te te. Reko po 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 po, rasi braga dele kasi. Paya kaka kaka kaka, ne kaka la da da. Reke de 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 de, reka la baga da da da. Rasi po po se te te, rika li braga se. Reko po 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 po, saka saka ta, ne kaka da 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 da. Rasi da 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 da, reko po 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 po. Masaka kaka kala boga, ne braga se te te. Rika la boza ya 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 ya. Rika baza kala baza. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray against any weakness in your life that the enemy wants to use to stop your destiny. Anger was used to stop the destiny of Moses. Money mindedness, love for money, was used to destroy. Do that the current children of God. I don't know the area of your life. What is your weakness? But today I pray with you that as we pray, let that weakness, let that weakness be turned to strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Call it to prayer decree. Whatever weakness in your life, let it be turned to strength. Let the Lord strengthen you because the Bible says, For your weakness, He shall strengthen you. Jesus said to Paul, My grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient. Lord, help me, Lord. My area of weakness, give me supernatural grace. Give me divine grace. Reka mi bragato, reko popoza, rika la baza kaya kaka, ma zege le bragade, le brasu bragadoza, reko bobo bobo boza, riba zega ya baboza, ma se kaya kaka, le braga zege de de de, riba za zega de, reko bobo bobo, raga la ga de ga da, reja ga ba raga da, le braga de 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 de, raga ga 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 da. In Jesus' mighty name. There is one thing the spirit of stopper does. It programs you and is waiting for you. The spirit of stopper will program. He can program himself when you are 20 years to come to. He can program himself when you are 50 years to come to. He can program himself when you are 100 years to come to. For the spirit of stopper always programs himself. And waiting for the right time when you least expected to attack you, you are going to pray. Any evil program in my life, any evil program in my calendar, any evil program that the enemy has marked, waiting to manifest. Today, I disprogram it. I disprogram it. Begin to disprogram every evil program. Every evil program. That day of calamity. That day of shame, that day of reproach, that the enemy has programmed, waiting to manifest in my life. I disprogram you. 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 I disprogram you.
this program, then, that evil day, waiting to happen, that evil day, program in the calendar of Satan, program in the calendar of occultic people, program in the calendar of witchcraft, program in the calendar of your conversion, waiting to happen against you. I this program, I this program, waiting to happen for your career, waiting to happen for your children, waiting to happen in your finance. I this program, 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 I this program. In the name of Jesus Christ, I this program you. That evil day, I delete you. You shall not stand. You shall not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kalabo zega yakata. Maso koto le bragade. Li braga zaga da da da. Le brogo se de 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 de. Ri kalaba da 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 da. Le braga zoko koza. Le kaka la baga da. Le brogo se de 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 de. Ri kalaba da 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 de. Masa kaya kaka. Li braga se de de. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. We are going to say, God, give us wisdom. Wisdom in your word. Wisdom of interpretation of your word. We need to have an understanding of your word. That through your word, we will be able to be victorious. Do we need to pray this prayer? You need to know. Maybe the for these things I have said, you have read it. But you have never saw it from this angle. God gave me the privilege to see it by interpretation. You need to pray for the wisdom of God that comes from the word of God that can help you to defeat your enemy. Pray that prayer. Seek for wisdom. The Bible says, if anyone lacks, let him ask. And the God that gives me brandy, I will give you wisdom. Father, give us wisdom in your word. Wisdom to apply. Wisdom to interpret. Wisdom to understand. Wisdom to walk in the light of your word that we may be victorious against any power of darkness that will rise against us in the mighty name of Jesus. I will ask for wisdom. As a church, I ask for wisdom. As an individual, I ask for wisdom. In my ministerial assignment, I ask for wisdom. In my marital life, I ask for wisdom. In my academic pursuit, I ask for wisdom. Father, give me wisdom. Financially, give me wisdom that I will be able to run this race and finish well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reka la bagada sete tele bragado riba su bragade ne ka su payata la bagade reka bo se gaya gada ne bra su bragade ne bragado ma so ko porakade riba za ka la bagada ma se ke se ne bragada in jesus mighty name we pray i want you to know that god is interested in your destiny that is why he has given us this privilege and opportunity yes. to get these teachings so that our life may be transformed. He has given us this privilege. Let me tell you some of the things I teach you. I know that many people who have this wisdom might not even want to share. Because sometimes there are things you can't explain to people. Sometimes if you talk too much, people will think you are talking too much. So sometimes some people prefer to keep quiet and apply it in their own life. But you see, one thing God has given to me is the heart of compassion and love for the children of God. So I always look for what to bring to you that will alleviate you, that will help you to walk in the perfect will of God. Because it is my desire to see you prosper in your work with God. And I believe that is the pastoring assignment God has given to me to teach you, to pastor you, to make you understand that this is it. Remember last Sunday, last Thursday, I preached about who is your prophet? Who preached to you? Who teaches you? This is what I have to offer to them that God has privilege to believe in the grace. That is why you have connected. You believe in this grace. That is why you are here. And because you believe, it is my responsibility to give you spiritual food that will help you to grow, that will help your relationship with God to be affirmed, to help you to make heaven. And that is why I bring these revelations to you. 
And I pray that as you receive them, you will not be the bearer, but you will also be the doer of these things. And be sensitive that your life may rejoice in the things of God. God bless you. Don't forget about the partnership. Don't forget about the partnership. The partnership is something you cannot miss. I tell you, if you get the clip of what is about to happen to this partnership meeting, come this week, we are going on the second of next month, we are having our first meeting in the partnership. Oh my goodness, it is going to be explosive. I am telling you, it is going to be explosive. Because at that time, I have already known that these ones, they have beyond reasonable doubt, believe that God has sent me to them. These ones, they have looked at it east, west, and north, and they have told themselves totally in conviction, God has sent prophetess Justina to me, and I want to make it a deal. I want to make it a personalized prophet, like me, my father is my personal prophet. I might speak to people who are in God, but there is what we call personal prophet your own prophet by the time you become a partner in this ministry it means that you have said in your heart i want prophetess justina to be my own prophet that wherever i call her name before any other person died that line i will be in the private line for audience you have personalized prophetess justina to become your own personal prophet and it is very simple just the i believe that right now on the on the page you can see the the, the flyer to join and to be a partner it will not be conducive it is a sacrifice it is a sacrifice that you must make up your mind to do and it is not for foreigners alone whether you are a member of god's word embassy church whether you are not a member but as long as this grace you it pleases you you enjoy and appreciate what God is first dollar if you are not bigger than it it is not bigger than you if you can start with two hundred dollar good if you can start with five hundred dollar good if you can start with one thousand dollar good but one thing I can tell you you can never regret this step Amen. Amen. <laughs> you will never regret taking this decision Amen. because what god will use that platform to do you won't believe it Amen. it is something that even me i am excited i am excited the way the angels of the lord are equipping my mind the way the angel of the lord are preparing my mind actually it is like i am about to start what we call the the, the the heart of god you know when you transform people from their heart you transform them to get the understanding you bring the picture of christ into them that was what jesus christ did to his disciple i'm about to start discipleship discipleship those people that their heart was hardened their heart was bitter their heart was confused their heart was stuck in the world system god is about to use me to bring a 60 360 degree change in their mindset and i'm telling you you will hear their testimony Amen. you will hear their testimony Amen. because the god that has asked me to start it has something in mind Amen. and i know it's for those who he has chosen Amen. so don't fight your heart with it if you know god has privileged you tap into it Amen. i am telling you tap into it so that you will be blessed you will be blessed Amen. and i know and i know I am sure, I know. Come next week, many Christians of God will be marveled. Amen. Some will be asking themselves, have I been born again since? What have I been doing? Because the Bible says, unto them the mystery of the gospel is revealed. Unto them the mystery of the gospel is revealed. Are you ready for the mystery of the gospel to be revealed? Yes. Are you ready to know God more than the surface? There is a deeper, deeper. Remember the Bible said there is a holy place and there is a holy uh, and the holy of the holiest. There is a deep place and there is a place. The Bible said knock, seek, 
and you shall find. There is a place you for knocking. There is a place for seeking. When you knock, you just knock. Everybody can knock in a door. But when you seek, you become careful. When you find, you begin to identify what you have found. We are about to enter into a divine acceleration. And I pray that God will put you in that boat and your life will never remain the same again. God bless you. Don't forget, I love you so much and I know the will of God for your life shall be fulfilled. I stretch forth my right hand of power. I decree upon you, anyone seek, be healed. I stretch out my right hand of power. I say, anyone going through financial shame, receive favor, miracle money and miracle opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the curtain of heaven open and rain down blessing upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arise and shine for the light of God has come and the glory of God is risen upon you. Go and prosper. Go and multiply. In Jesus mighty name I pray for you. Don't miss on Sunday service. Yes. On Sunday service is the last Sunday of the month. And that is the last Sunday of the month of August. And by that Sunday, I will be announcing how we are going to enter our Uber month. We need to prepare ourselves to enter the month of Uber. Because if you don't prepare yourself, Mumba is capable of swallowing. Mumba is capable of eating. Mumba is always preserved to hinder people from finishing the year. I will be entering that month with a lot of supernatural preparation. I don't know wherever you are, but be connected. If you are not going to be in the church, let it be that you are not in Kenya. But if you are in Kenya, be in church. If you are not in Kenya, wherever you are, connect to it and be focused. Because we need to shield our people for what is ahead of them so that God will preserve them. And also is our dedication Sunday that many people are going to dedicate their children. Come and rejoice with the children of God. Because when you rejoice with those that rejoice, heaven will rejoice with you. Congratulations for your miracle is shown. Shalom, shalom, shalom. The giving detail is there if you are led to give. Why not be a blessing to the ministry? God bless you. Love you so much and be blessed. Make a bobo bobo zigada la braga bi. Rika baba zanta la bo zega de bazia ta la bo. Rika la bo zega ba ye kata la bazanta li braga. Rika la bo zega de 